Good afternoon. My name is Janice Lewis George, and I am the Ward 4 Council Member and Chair of the Council's Committee on Facilities and Family Services. I'm calling this markup to order, and for the record, uh, I'd like to note that we have a quorum consisting of uh, Council Member Brianna Doe, Ward 1 Council Member, Council Member pa Zachary Parker, Ward 5 Council Member, and Council Member Matthew Fruman, Ward 3 Council Member. Thank you to my colleagues for being here uh, and for their patience um, as we uh, got started a little bit later. Uh, the time is 2.20 p.m. and today is Monday, October 23rd. We are holding this meeting on the Zoom online platform and in room 123 of the John A. Wilson building. In addition to Zoom, this hearing is being broadcast live on my website at JaniceWard4.com backslash live. This is an additional meeting of the committee to consider and vote and vote on PR 25-285, the Director of the Department of General Services, Delano Hunter Confirmation Resolution of 2023. The committee held a hearing on this measure on July 13th, 2023. We heard from 20 public witnesses, a large increase from past DGS director hearings, specifically past committee reports show one public witness in 2018, four public witnesses in 2016, uh, one public witness in 2015, and two public witnesses in 2012. Uh, so uh, I shared that background to show uh, the increased significance in public consciousness of DGS uh, and the importance of this appointment. Uh, Director Hunter has a big job ahead of him, but I believe uh, he is qualified and the right person to lead the agency in this moment. The Department of General Services was created in 2011 as a consolidation of several agencies responsible for capital construction, real estate services, and facilities maintenance. The purpose of this consolidation was to improve the efficiency of the district services while removing redundant functions and as well. In other words, to improve our efficiency and performance. Since its inception, however, uh, DGS has come under increasing scrutiny from the council, uh, from the auditor and the public for falling short of its full mission to build, maintain, and sustain our facilities. DGS staff deserve our praise and recognition for helping to reopen our schools and other public facilities following the COVID-19 pandemic. They've also helped usher in a recent energy efficiency improvements and our first net zero energy design facilities. We cannot overlook the many dedicated public servants of DGS, our boilerplate operators, our locksmiths, painters, carpenters, uh, and masons who keep our building running every day. DJ, DGS also manages uh, building security portfolio management and capital construction throughout our government. They have a very big job and we're grateful for their service. We must also push for innovation and improvement at DGS. And that's why I'm excited to support Director Hunter's confirmation today to lead DGS. Director Hunter, a fellow uh, native Washingtonian has been at the helm of DPR for the past five years. He knows this city very well and how to get things done in our government. He's also worked alongside DGS on many capital projects repeatedly uh, as well. And so he knows the agency as well, really well. Last uh, week, pub, uh, last hearing public witnesses repeatedly mentioned his character and responsiveness as a leader uh, as some of his best qualities. Uh, Delano Hunter uh, is qualified and ready to lead this department forward. Mr. Hunter mentioned several opportunities he, pl he planned to focus on during his tenure at DGS. I'd like to highlight some of those as well as other areas we believe he should focus his energy on moving forward. First, Director Hunter has pledged to strengthen communication with client agencies and the public. This one is huge. Transparency and better use of Salesforce to track requests will go a long way to improving DGS's reputation. Next is greater investments in preventative maintenance. This is one is already off to a great start with, with, within our HVAC systems. We'll have to improve tracking and expanding this work to other building systems, but the same principle carries more preventative maintenance means less work orders. Uh, third, we talked about ensuring school readiness. Director Hunter made a checklist and school leaders to grade DGS work on it. 
after this summer, incorporating feedback from our end users is great. And I'd like to see more of this, including uh, to other parts of our DGS portfolio. And finally, holding contractors accountable. Director Hunter has pledged to add capacity to DGS's contracting and procurement team to feed, uh, to free up, uh, um, to do more supervision of work. We'll also be looking for further reform of our quality assurance and qual uh, quality control in general. Uh, there are just some of the issues. These are just some of the issues that Director Hunter has committed to improving uh, through his leadership of DGS. The rest are detailed in the draft committee report, which I encourage uh, everyone to please read. Um, and I look forward to working with him more in the future. At this time, I move for the approval of the draft committee report and draft committee print for PR 25-285. We leave for staff to, with leave for staff to make technical and conforming changes. Uh, is there any discussion from my colleagues? Uh, Council Member Parker. Thank you, Chairwoman Lewis George. I want to echo much of what you've said in terms of the importance of this critical agency for the district. I also want to applaud Acting Director Hunter um, and just reiterate that I have faith in his leadership and, and ability to turn things around at DGS. That said, there is a need to turn around things at DGS, and that has been well documented for many years. One of the questions I have is whether or not DGS is too big, um, given its responsibilities at DCPS, as well as our parks and rec and many other facilities across the city. Um, and that is something that we as a committee, I hope will tackle over time, but routinely we hear about the failures of this agency. And again, my hope is that with acting director Hunter's leadership, things can finally turn around. Uh, I also will underscore the focus on preventative maintenance during this year's budget cycle, as well as oversight hearings, we heard a lot from leadership at DGS around their focus on preventative maintenance. And as we make the turn towards another budget uh, cycle, I'm hopeful that we can point to concrete metrics to say uh, that the investments that this committee made actually paid off. Uh, two other things very quickly, uh, something that came out at the round table that the committee Held was a need to focus on the quality of contractors' work. And it was very clear through the director's response and those that joined him that there is insufficient focus on maintaining quality control efforts uh, across contractors. I would just highlight the very uh, subjective nature that it seemed as though DGS is monitoring uh, the quality of work of its contractors. And so again, my hope is under Acting Director uh, Hunter's leadership, that too can be turned around. And as we approach uh, the city's climate goals, we want DGS to serve as a leader an innovator towards BEPS and applying, uh, uh, complying with our BEPS standards and goals. Um, and that too is something that I'm hoping that Director Hunter can help lead on. All of that said, if there was one uh, nomination that I had faith could rise to the challenge, just that we see at DGS, it is Director Hunter. Um, and I'm looking forward to voting um, for his nomination. Thank you, Chairwoman Lewis George. Thank you, Councilmember Parker. Do we have any other comments from any of our other uh, committee members? Thank you, Chairwoman George uh, Lewis George. I'll just chime in for briefly. Um, I, I share all of the views about the challenges that we face at DGS. They they are enormous and they have seemed to be intractable. Um, I, I am very heartened in the last year at the work that DGS has done and the school readiness process. I thought that they you know, not perfect, but but better uh, by a considerable degree from what I'd seen before. I'm also very, very much encouraged by your partnership with Director Hunter. I think that the work that you've done on the committee and your partnership with him really creates a platform to make very meaningful progress on the very, very important work that EGS is doing. On the preventive maintenance side, uh, can't underscore that enough. We've got billions of dollars in investments and preventive maintenance is the way that we preserve those investments so that they can serve our public in the way that they need to. Uh, 
DGS has been the biggest construction company in the region for some time, and now it's the biggest, it's becoming the biggest maintenance company in the region, and it's really important that it excel in that. I share Council Member Parker's concern about may, ensuring the quality of the contractors. We we see this in lots of different agencies where there may be, you know, there may be serial problems and they may stem from the same people. And if that's happening, we need to know it and we need to use that in terms of thinking about who we're going to use to, to tackle the next problems. I share the view that Director Hunter uh, will be a great person to lead this agency. I really look forward to working with him. I really look forward to working with you and I will vote for his confirmation enthusiastically. Thank you. All right, with that, um, all those in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, say no. And in the, in the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it and the motion passes. Thank you. Uh, with that, the business before the committee having concluded, the time is now 2.32 p.m. And this additional meeting at the Committee on Facilities and Family Services is adjourned. Thank, Thank you. you very much.